Don't burn. Ah! <laughs> Do this. Yeah, we got, oh, we got, got Shabam. Oh. Oh. You're going with the hand technique. You got the arm. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh. Come to Cafe Den. Harvey. Harvey. You should be here. Hard sausages up there in the Northeast. Very, very fashion forward place. Is a $4.50 fresh tangent egg McMuffin. That went up by those. We got a lamb bow. Lamb bow, almost like a meat pie thing going on. All right, you guys, starting off our 2024 Flushing Crawl. We are on 36 Road right now. We've got Perry Stack. We've got Ryan Alexander. It's all the way from LA. Perry, this spot is very hype on Instagram right now. What is it? This is one of the hottest uh, new Vietnamese coffee spots in Queens. They just opened up uh, recently. They, they offer a variety of different uh, types of Vietnamese coffees. Uh, it's owned by uh, two lovely ones and let's go check it out. All right. All right, we're here with Christine, one of the owners of Cafe Den. Am I, am I even saying it right? Yes, you are. Well, in Vietnamese, it's Cafe Den, and that translates to black coffee. Um, we opened up three months ago, and we really wanted to bring more Vietnamese culture to Flushing. Um, and so far, the community has received it very well, so happy to be here. <laughs> right, because there really wasn't any sort of Vietnamese coffee shops, right? Like, you could get it at pho shops, but yes. there wasn't like, Specifically based exactly. around Vietnamese coffee. Exactly. Technically, I think we're the first ones in the neighborhood, but yeah, a lot of people really like it. So is this kind of like a flushing like Cafe Lou? I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding that's I'm the kidding. wrong coffee shop. Oh, good. We got here. So here we have. Uh, we're very popular for our cream coffees, from ube, matcha, egg, black sesame to sea salt, and then we have a marble drip and a coconut matcha latte for you. That is nice. So these are like modern elevated flavors, obviously fusing yeah. stuff between cultures right, and stuff too, right? right? So um, the base is your traditional Viet coffee and then we have like fun creams on top and uh, really on the East Coast, they don't really have this much. You can get this in Cali more. Right, right. Yeah. Well, hey, Ryan, what are you going for? <laughs> Ube, baby. Yes. That's Harry, what you going for? I'm gonna go for the matcha. Okay, the, yeah. the matcha. I, I'm going with that regular, I've never seen a black sesame cream. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of people would be like, they've never seen flavored egg creams before. Right, right? Right. So that's really cool. Hey, look, guys, look how thick it is. It's like a milkshake on top. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the difference with our cream is that instead of like a foam that you would get at like Starbucks or whatever, our creams are more decadent, rich, bold. And it pairs well with the, uh, the bitter espresso format that black coffee, Vietnamese coffee is. So these are freshly baked every day. This is the matcha black sesame bun. The black sesame is house roasted, so it has a nice fragrant aroma. Same with the black sesame cookie. The green Thai tea cookie made with real tea leaves. And finally, we have the um, salted egg yolk cookie, which is one of our best sellers. You know what I love about this one too is it looks like the uh, trendy like Dutch cardamom buns. Mm, yes. Look at that. Fragrant rolled, buttery toasted. Come to Cafe Den. <laughs> Yo, they don't have this in the six two six Vietnamese coffee with the with the cream on there. They need Ube it cream. Though. They don't have it. They need they it. Need. They need it. They need it. Matcha. We out here. Harry, thanks for showing us uh, Cafe Den. Real quick, man, where do you think we should check out? Because you live in Flushing, you know this place, it's constantly changing, constantly reinventing itself. What, 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 what do you want to eat? I just want to go somewhere hype. All right, you guys, you know we had to open up and get a $2 roll bowl. This is pork and green onion. Check this out. No. Two dollars, cash only. This is literally just a meat bun from Hunan. Like we said, out here in Flushing, you're gonna get a lot of stuff from Hubei, Wuhan, Hunan, provinces that are just rare to find in America. We gotta try it with some smala. This is how a lot of people in China start their day. Actually, a lot of the spots in this plaza are from Qingdao, which is uh, the largest city in Shandong. And these Tanting cafeteria spots are actually some of my favorite. You get three choices in a soup for $8.50, four choices in a soup for $10.99. Really similar to Kang Kang Food Court in uh, 626, but this is a little bit more of a like, uh, 
I'd, I'd say pretty comparable, but a Beifang version. You sure guys see the Fanche Chao Dan? Look at the Fanche Chao Dan. That's the one. For me, I, I get it, you can make it at home, but it don't taste like the restaurant. One thing I really like about all these lunch spots in Flushing is that they got all the snacks you want laid out for you. Here you have the Roja More, aka the burger, the sandwiches, and then you have the Fan Tuan, easy to carry. And then you got this stack of the Nero Dren Bing. I'm about to pop it open because I am going to buy this. $6.50. Let's try it out. Alright guys, here to try it for $6.50. I mean, this dish, the beef roll pancake, obviously as you may know, very popular on the west coast. But I'm glad they just got it out here. Um, and you know, it's kind of a, a, a food that really got more popular in America because they put the beef into it. But they always ate, you know, Tung Yo Bing's over in China, so. Okay, not bad. This is good. Could use a little bit more beef. But for $6.50, to get one of your favorite snacks, I ain't mad. Yo, so he's from Dongbei, aka the Northeast. He's just saying out. They eat a lot of noodles out there. Uh, uh, this is uh, uh, Okay, so he says this is the northeastern food. Right, I'm not gonna lie, guys. That looks good, but it's a little bit early in the morning for me. It's it's not even 10 o'clock yet. So okay, okay. So, so, oh, oh, the sausage. Oh my god. Yeah. The the hard bean sausage, guys. Uh, Hard sausages up there in the Northeast. All right, anyways, I gotta go. All right, okay, see, see ya, bye bye. Hey man, um, Street has everything right now. You got guys selling healthcare plans. You got guys selling denim, somebody selling textiles. Like what is that, styrofoam for your restaurant? And then you even got the authentic luxury Gucci store here on the left side. But regardless, anyways, any little thing you need, a mini fan for all your makeup, socks, beef rolls. I'm telling you guys, this is absolutely one of the best things about flushing. I think even in the 626, this is difficult to find. Hopefully, I'll make it there. Uh, Liu Kwai. Liu Kwai. This is Tang Wu Lu. You guys are where? Dalu. Dalu. But it's Dalu. What place? Tianjin. Tianjin. Hey, man. Tang Wu Lu. It comes from Tianjin. Uh, it started out with the hawthorn berry. Now it's expanded. You've got strawberries, blueberries, tangerines, and you still got the hawthorn. Wow, you are doing it very fresh. It's very fresh. Listen guys, especially if you come in the morning, this is about like 10.30 a.m. right now, um, you're going to get them fresh and they're hot. Mm. Listen guys, there are drink chains coming all the time from China. Some of them have different focuses and themes. Perry, we're in front of one of the hypest ones, Molly Tea. What's going on so here? So we're here at Molly Tea. They, they don't do bubble tea. They strictly do a milk tea and they add a, a homemade cream on top. It's a No chain. pearls. No pearls. But quality tea. Let's go check them out. Very, very fashion forward place. I almost want to see like a runway show here. She's the star of the show. She got the headset and everything. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye, guys. All right, we're outside of Molly Tea. This is the most fashionable Chinese tea brand I've ever seen. I mean, look at it. I don't know what kind of almost monogram pattern this guy going LB. off the Louis. Louis. Um, <laughs> oriental aesthetics is what they say. You have some oriental aesthetics as well. We I, I all do. It. High designer tea, uh, that's what it is. What, so they're giving us like these coffee straws? It's like a special straw, they said to taste the tea better. It's like three mini straws put together. All right, so then you gotta punch it because there's a seal inside. Let's taste the tea, guys. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. 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 Gambe, cheers. Gambe. So uh, a lot of places in Flushing, it's a lot of Chinese, uh, China brands that are bringing, they're bringing over a lot of concepts. 
that are popular in China that will do well in Flushing because this is basically the Chinatown of Queens. Hey, does this feel like China? Where, where, where in China would this This feels probably? like, so I lived in Shanghai, this feels like Xin Tian Di kind of yeah. aesthetic. Yeah, very fast, every, very fancy. Let's just say this fancy. is the off-white tea bar, all right? Yeah, fashion forward. How, how is the tea? Does, Guys, it, does it live honestly, up? Honestly, it's silky smooth, it's pretty yeah. good. Uh, the, the quality, the quality of tea is Does it live up to the looks? You could say so. Man, notable, this chain is from Guangdong. So, you know, it's coming from the south side. Uh, but ultimately, guys, here in the boba space, as competitive as it is, you gotta deliver a pretty good product. The packaging, and, everything. And the, very cool aesthetics. Yeah. You gotta have branding on point, find your crowd, and uh, overall, I think Molly T's gonna do well. On to the next spot. Our next spot is Money Cake. This is actually a famous uh, wheel cake spot from Taiwan, but you guys put your own New York twist on it. Why don't you tell yes, us Yes, sir. It? So we found uh, this uh, company in Taiwan, and we wanted to bring this flavor back to New York, you know, really just to share the, the Taiwanese culture. But we wanted to do it with a little twist. So we added flavors like pepperoni pizza for our New York exclusive. We got chicken pesto. We got a little black book with all these different flavors that are coming up. Uh, the next one we're doing is chicken corn cheese and we're doing some uh, other versions it's a cold version of a wheel cake called fire and ice what oh, a cold got, wheel cake yeah we got oreos Ferrero rocher fresh fruit bro well, ryan's taiwanese have you ever seen the pepperoni? i have never seen this i'm i'm interested in the pepperoni pizza uh, uh, yeah. perry come on the, yeah, the, the, the new york exclusive is what i'm excited for the pepperoni pizza the chicken pesto let's check those out all right, what flavor do we got here? We got pepperoni cheese pizza. Oh, no better way to bring New York, like New York day, pizza to with a wheel cake. Oh, my whoa. God. Oh, my God. Ryan, try that. Go for it. 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 That's mm. the wheel cake hot pocket. Mm. It's like, there it goes. It's like there a Taiwan and New York had a baby. It's hot. You know? It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. Mm. It's hot. Yeah. It's like an Asian hot pocket. We got a New York pizza, pepperoni pizza, inside a money cake. Woo! Hey! 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 David, David, try it. There's a burn you still? <laughs> Don't burn Ah! <laughs> 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 Potato, cheese, and bacon. What's the What's the Chinese name for this? Maling su cheese bacon. Maling su. Oh. Mashed potatoes. Mmm. Warms you to the soul, just like how grandma used to make it. Not my grandma, but somebody's grandma. So we got the red bean here, classic Taiwanese flavor. That's probably one, the, one, the, class, one of the original ones. Those are the ones I eat in Taiwan. Mmm, I feel it. Fire. Fellas, what are we looking at? So we got the fire and ice. Uh, we have the custard and strawberry. This is the chocolate Oreo. This is the custard and Ferrero Rocher. Oh my goodness, these are like half wheel cakes, man. I'm, I'm gonna go with this one, man. What are you guys going with? You gotta, you gotta do this. Yeah, we, we gotta, gotta, we gotta, we gotta, gotta cut. Oh. Oh. oh! oh! Look at that, hold on. Squeeze that together, baby, and then take a... Oh my oh. god! Mm. 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 Chocolate's just tripping. This, are, this, this was my favorite. For me, I love that. I love that. The dessert. Close the lid yeah. element. Ryan, you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. This Ryan is rethinking life. This, child, this is like my flashback to childhood. You know the ratatouille moment where he bites into the food and he goes, back into his childhood? That's, yeah. That's the Ferrero Rocher, too. The Ferrero Rocher. That's like the fancy candy in Chinese houses. That uh, oozing, oozing with chocolate over there. Last but not least, here at Money Wheel, we got the ooh, chicken pesto. Hey, I'm telling you guys, hey, they, they, they doing a lot of new things with the old New York culture. All right, you guys, we're at Gacha and Tangram Mall. 
Uh, I believe this is an American company, right? But everything is imported from Japan, Taiwan, China, China. right? Yeah, a lot of the games are either from Asia. They got some cute uh, dolls for the claw games. When they opened up last week, those crazy lines were here early. Let's check it out. Okay, I'm getting a fresh breakfast Xiaobing. Xiaobings are like, uh, kind of like a road jamo, you know, it's kind of like a burger, but the thing is that the Xiaobing has more sesame and it's a little bit drier, almost like a pastry, but it's not like a buttery pastry, because you know, Chinese is only butter like that. So anyways, this is gonna be like a Egg McMuffin, except in a Xiaobing. Let's check it out. Tianjin. Tianjin. Oh, Tianjin. Tianjin. Oh, Tianjin. Tianjin people running all the side stalls. Tianjin also famous for a lot of northern street food, so that's why all this food is kind of northern style, but it's cheap. They're making it fresh. What you are looking at is a four dollar and fifty cent fresh Tianjin egg McMuffin, aka a Xiaobing. Xiaobing is kind of like a burger bread sandwich, except it's a little bit more drier, but it has sesame on top. But man, this looks good. I asked for it to be a little bit hot. Mmm. Oh. The Xiaobing bread has almost a consistency of an Egg McMuffin. It's very dense, but it has a little bit of like cinnamon flavor. It's pretty good, man. <laughs> mm. One of the best street snacks you can get in Flushing from what I've tried so far. That's good, man. That's good. Of course, guys, we had to come back and see Lao Shanghai Ren. Luo Zahenyi. Zahenyi, Zahenyi. Zahenyi, Zahenyi. I've heard that in the Xiao Hong Shu, there's a lot of food in the Xiao Hong Shu. Yes. And the most important thing is the food. Yes. The food, the food, the food, the food. Like we said, guys, the crab Shanghainese noodles are trending right now. Uh, 老板, can you just show it? Oh, this is the fan meal. This is the fan meal. Can you taste it? Can you taste it? Let me see. It's very like a lot. Damn. Now, for example, this is $40. 呃，这个有点贵，四十四十八是吧？四十八块。对。This is forty eight dollars. 它整整的有二两的蟹粉，纯蟹粉二两。He's gonna show us the juice. Like we said, this is a true Zhenyin, and this is a he wants to showcase how the Shenzhen Bao are dripping. Juicy. Drip it. 是打蟹粉。Yo, we got the crab noodles. He said it, it's uh, imported from uh, Asia, so you know what it is. I'm just gonna eat some of the crab. Yeah, you know, let's all take some. I'll try some of this. Oh, fuck, that's good. Literally, guys, $48 for this bowl. But you know, it's trending online for a reason. I think it's a, it's a luxurious dish. Yeah, it's, it's mad good, guys. Mmm, mmm, mmm. No, this is fire. This is fire. Fire. Authentic Shenzhen Bao, Shenzhen Bao. Juicy. Oh, they're juicy. This is your. Oh, a lot of soup is dripping out. Yeah, 特多糖在那个生煎包里面啊。We gonna put this on there. Put on the crab. Put it on there. Mmm. 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 
All right, here I got the scallion noodle dish, AKA the tong yo mian. And this is like a super simple dish. You got the egg cracked right here. Got a little piece of gluten, which is what the Jiangsu region is all about. All right, guys, let you know. Oh, scallion noodle with a little shmala oil. Let's go. Mmm. Simple homemade dish. Hold it. Oh god, it's the juicy. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yo, bro. It's juicy, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. That went up my nose. Oh, you got ski. You gotta be careful. <laughs> no, it. I'm drowning in that right now. That's how juicy it is. Oh, you going with the hand technique? You got dog? Oh my goodness. Oh! Oh! You gotta suck from the hole. Uh, pause. Gambe, Shongi. Gambe. No <laughs> Of course, no flushing food crawl would be right without a stop to image. We're here at Image, my sneaker store, right on Main Street, 3622. Uh, you know, we all got limited kicks. We're here to show Ryan around. Yo, all right, Perry, show us your top two favorite kicks right now. Yeah, yeah, what, are, what, what do you like right now? Because I remember we, we talked about runners before. We talked about Kobe's. We talked about LeBron. I'm all about, about comfort now. So I'm, I'm going with the Asics, you know, the dad shoes. These are, these are some of my, like, Picks I go to. All right, Ryan. Perry's actually uh, gifting you any shoe you want here. So, what, what shoe you want? Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I'll go right here, dude. Hey. <laughs> Grinch, Grinch, Reverse Grinch. This is uh, these. Are, I'll tell you this. You're watching the NBA playoffs. You see this about 50 times. All right, let's yeah. go pick these up and uh, let's wear them on the rest Max, of the football. All right. So our next new boba spot in Falashin is Haiti. It's a chain from Guangdong, but we got Kit here. You're gonna explain more. Kit, what's going on with Haiti? Hi, this is Kit right here. Um, I'm from HQ. I'm a representative of Haiti. This is our first uh, location in Flushing, second location in New York City. Yo, is this kind of like your flagship, like the big one? Like this is the cool one? Ooh, not, not yet. Okay, not yet, they still yet. got bigger ones to come. Uh, this spot, I would say, you know, competing with Molly Tea down the block because both are very cool tea spots focusing on fruit. You know how the Southerners do. We like the fruit, so we're gonna go check it out. Hey Tea, on weekends, the lines are out the block. See, does this guy have a bowl cut or a lineup? <laughs> a bowl cut or a lineup? That's a, that's, a wave, that's a wave cap. Yeah, it's a wave, he's wearing a do-rag. That's a wave cap, <laughs> if I ever seen one. Um, Guys, this hay tea is brand new, super nice. I got the mango grapefruit boom. I got grape boom. That's the mango. This is the grapefruit slush. And I want to tell you, they have these double reinforced uh, paper straws. You know, it's like two-tone. They got like... Save the turtles. Different, yeah. Save the turtles. Save the turtles. This might be the nicest fruit boba brand in the world. No, this Cheers. is, no, this, is hidden, this is hidden different. This is hidden different. By the way, I would not consider these bobas. These are not bobas. This is a Hong Kong Southern dessert. Those, that's a fruit dessert. This one is a boba. They have though. boba though. They do have boba, but. but the fruit, the fruit teas are. Guys, you know me. I'm more of a fruit drink, fruit tea drinker. But of course, I gotta try the brown sugar boba. Let's check it out. Mmm. Not gonna lie, that's very decadent, very sweet, and the boba is very soft. They serve 15 million liters of real milk worldwide. That's a lot of boba. You guys great, think that brown great. sugar bobas are also kind of weird because like the boba is really warm, but then the milk's kind of cold, and it meets in the middle and it's kind of like lukewarm. That's my one yeah, thing so about boba. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit weird, yeah. but I'm gonna mix it up. I want it cold. Listen guys, we are one of the nexuses of Flushing food culture and it just went through a major renovation. We've, we started our first video I think, in Flushing here. Uh, Shan started here, uh, a lot of staple Chinese restaurants. They were down in the basement, they did a, re a revamp and now it looks more modern. They have a lot of uh, food concepts in there. Let's go downstairs, check it out. Hey, there's no better place to represent the changing nature of Flushing. Bonan Sichuan restaurant. We got some uh, skewer snacks right here. I'm on a search for one thing. Huangmen Jifan yellow braised chicken stew. 
I don't know if they have it though. We go uh, definitely a lot of mainland stuff, like a lot of stuff with tripe, intestines, offals, you know. Listen guys, we're at a street style on Roosevelt Ave. It's called Yun Kun Shao Bing. It's from Qingdao, Shandong. This is a Jin Xiang Bing. I never had this before. It's just chopped up carbs. They love carbs in the north. What do you got? What you do got I have? You got a lamb bao. You got a lamb bao? Lamb bao, almost like a meat pie thing going on. A hot, it's like a Chinese hot pocket. I can see you. If I needed to work a long day farming, I go, I go for a Jin Shan Bing. After I'm farming. Of that bow. Right there. The lamb. Got the lamb up in Five there. Five bucks a pop. A little spicy. I like it. Let's go. Listen, guys, there are so many spots to cover in flushing. It's almost like you make. 10 videos, you still can't catch them all. But we gotta end off on one of the most viral spots. Perry, what is this spot viral for? Putting grapes on chicken or what? Yeah, so they, they, they're special, they're popular all over TikTok, Instagram. It's fried chicken and they have a grape sauce and they pour it on top. It's, it's a little sweet and savory. Um, I had personally never had it, but let's, let's try, try it out. What better time to try it but now? Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up, man? We come to here to get the viral food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us about your spot. How to go so viral? What and what's the deal with green grapes and matcha on chicken? <laughs> okay, introduce our store. Yeah. Okay, we have ten flavor Korean chicken to here. Yeah. All right, the viral fruity desserty fried chicken from Korea. Let's check it out here. I got the blueberry cream cheese. I'm just gonna throw it on. What? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Hold on. What yeah. Is yeah. That's right. That's right, buddy. It's like dessert and dinner at the same time. Okay, we got, we got, what do we got here? We got wasabi mayo onion chicken. I'm just gonna dunk it in there. Smather it in there. I might regret this because this is wasabi, but I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, we got the viral grape. We're gonna pour it on. Oh, grape, that's like grape syrup. Grape you get a couple syrup. more grapes in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perry, you saw this on TikTok? I saw it on TikTok. All right, Perry, Perry, let's go and let's try these. You gotta eat a piece of grape with the chicken, though. There we go. Cheers. Cheers. I never had grape with fried chicken before, but it pairs well. It's a little sweet and savory, but works. We'll try it out. There we got that wasabi kind of hidden there. Hidden a little bit. Hidden a little bit. It's good though. Good though. All right. Here we got the cheese right here. I'm going to go double cheese. Let's go. Mm. Did you try the grape one yet? Not yet. Do you like the wasabi? I'm going to try that. I, I kind of like, yeah. I have a feeling this is going to be one of my favorites. Go. Go for it. I like the blueberry with the, the cream cheese oh on it. Bro, the what's up? You get the no, you get a little bit of no sweat. I'm rolling with the wasabi one so far. It's pretty good, right? Try it, dude. That's interesting. That tastes better. That tastes good, actually. <laughs> All right, everybody, that wraps it up for this Flushing Food Crawl. Perry, what do you got to say about the changing Flushing options? There's always new concepts coming in tang uh, Flushing, Tangram we hit up, new stalls. There's always viral stuff going on at different food courts. It's always a trip. You're yeah. from the 626 I'm in Euro Valley. I'm from the 626, never been to Flushing before. This is amazing. It's, I wanted to compare them, but it's different. They're both amazing. The food is awesome. I love it. Yeah, but I think, you know, one of the best experiences you could do is be curious and flushing. All right, this is not like other parts of America. You got all the options here. I recommend it. I love it out here. I'm going to be out here more because I took the $4 bus. I used to take the Ubers and the train, but the $4 bus is worth it. Until next time, we out. Peace.